Hi, my name is Julie Collister, and I'm here to teach you a little bit about the Highscope Educational Research Foundation and its curriculum. Highscope was established by David Weekart in 1962 with the goal to improve academic performance of at-risk children from poor neighborhoods. The Perry Preschool Project results showed children who completed this completed more years of schooling, spent less time in special education, had a higher graduation rate, lower out-of-wedlock births, fewer teen pregnancies, were less likely to go to jail or prison, and had a higher average monthly income. High, school is, high Scope is implemented in preschool, kindergarten, child care, elementary schools, and Head Starts all over the country. High Scope is implemented with active participatory learning. That is that children learn with direct hands-on experience and they focus on the children's interests and choices. High Scope is implemented with a daily routine which includes plan, do, review, small and large group times, outside time, transition time, and eating and resting time. Plan, do, review is implemented where ch children plan for an activity of what they want to do, their needed materials, and how they're going to break into groups. After their activity, they discuss what they did and whether it was the same or different from what was planned. High School believes in shared control. Adults and children share control of the classroom. Adults participate in activities and engage the children as partners. They encourage the children's problem solving and emphasizing children's successes and strengths. High Scope also believes in teaching conflict resolution. Conflicts are approached calmly. A children's feelings are acknowledged. Information is gathered. Problems are restated. And ideas and solutions are searched for and chosen together. So follow-up support is also given. The content areas of High Scope are approaches to learning, language, literacy, and communication, social and emotional development, physical development and health, mathematics, science and technology, social studies, and creative arts. Teachers record daily notes on children's behaviors and performance for assessments. Several times a year, the teacher will review and assess student progress. Resulting scores will be used to provide developmentally appropriate learning opportunities. High Scope is highly organized with the areas divided into interests such as a house area, an art area, a block area, and a toy area. Again, my name is Julie Collister and thank you for listening to my lecture on High Scope.